I love these perfect times together. The wine is chilled, the candles are lit, and we are a kiss away from magnificent earth-shattering sex. <laughs> Give me a beer, will you, Marcy? <laughs> Al, we're trying to have a little romantic thing here. Well, go ahead, don't worry about me. Marcy, you got any tuna fish in there? No, I was about to take her upstairs and you interrupted. <laughs> then you owe me one. <laughs> Daddy's in the bathroom? Mom's up there taking a bath. <laughs> well, maybe he won't notice. <laughs> I'm blind! Very funny, Al. No, really, Peg. I saw your mother naked and... Everything went black. I think my eyes were trying to protect my heart. No, I'm not gonna see Hondo, Peg! So nobody called Vancouver? Okay, it's a mistake. I'm not paying for mistakes. I've been doing that since the day I got married. Well, you haven't been very nice to my family. Well, neither is nature. Go bother it. Now, Al, you know I don't ask much of you because I know how severely limited you are. But please do me a favor and just say something to them. Yeah. Go home. <laughs> Does that take care of it, Peg? That's a nice start. Just show them that you care. Go home and drive safely. <laughs> Don't you look nice? <laughs> and uh, who are you? Well, I'm the guy that did this. <coughs> oh! Daddy, you don't understand. Oh, I understand. Old guy, young girl, fancy apartment, cold cuts like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> I know what's going on. I'm so upset I can hardly eat this sandwich. <laughs> oh, well, at least I'm alone. <laughs> well, I hope that's a Jehovah Witness. <laughs> Wanting to discuss hours of philosophical observation. You, Al Bundy? Yes, hold the applause. What do you want? I just think you ought to know that your wife has been seeing my husband. Let me get this straight. Pardon the expression. <laughs> you say that your husband is running around with my wife? Yes. Your husband? Yes. Well, then we got three guys that won't touch my wife. What's the problem? Uh, before I serve you, I, I have some great news. Oprah Winfrey finally exploded. We'll be glad to come. What can we bring? Oh, just the, the plates and some food and some beers and leave the rest to us. <laughs> oh, this is going to be just great. You know, there's nothing like spending Labor Day with the family and good food and good friends. Oh, God, what a charade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Still the regular <laughs> 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 my youth. And I wonder, do I wonder Who stopped the rain? <laughs> McBundy had a farm, B U N D Y, and on this farm there was no wife. B U N D Y, with no wife here and no kids there, a hooker coming over on Friday night. Big luscious hooters and a pizza and a beer there. Oh, McBundy had a farm, B U N D Y. Pictures come and I never go home. One blind, two blinds, three blinds. Ah! Pictures come and I never go home. Hey, Mr. Tellyman, we don't need the whole song. <laughs> May I help you? Give me my pictures. I got planes to catch, cars to buy, and families to leave. <laughs> Name? Bundy. 
but it'll soon change. <laughs> you want to dance? You wouldn't mind, Peg? Of course not. I'd love it. <laughs> Would you like to dance with me? Just me cruising around listening to the oldies channel at 1500 watts. <laughs> Made a lot of new friends. Take uh, Officer Lewis, for example. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't hear a siren at first, but luckily, police cars are now equipped with rammers that gently <laughs> ease me into the rail. Luckily, the cop liked oldies, so he beat me with his nightstick to the tune of Hey Jude. <laughs> then he wrote me up 18 tickets. <laughs> Including the one for bleeding on his pad. <laughs> How was your day? I think we should kill Marcy and Jefferson. <laughs> Peg, listen to what you're saying. They can work for days and gather more gold. <laughs> and then... If they should accidentally walk in front of my rifle. <laughs> oh, you're so smart, honey. Yeah, good. How much is it, Al? Two twenty-five fifty-seven. That bastard. <laughs> Guys like that deserve what they get. He's getting your wife. Oh, let the punishment fit the crime. <laughs> Hello, Jim's Fish, Chips, and Insurance. <laughs> Al Bundy here. Hi, Jim. Uh, listen, how much to put my son on my insurance? How old? Um, 16. Uh, he's 16. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> if you think I'm going to pay that much, you're as stupid as those cats you trap and call tuna. <laughs> You know, when you insult my wife, Jim, you don't hurt me. Well, what do you say, Al? Nothing I haven't said myself. Are you sure you didn't use too much dynamite? Son, if dynamite was dangerous, do you think they'd sell it to an idiot like me? <laughs> now, nothing can go wrong. I've taken every precaution. Including making sure it was nowhere near a gas line. <laughs> 